Psalms, the 27th chapter and the 10th verse. When my father and my mother forsaken me, then the Lord will take me up. My dear sister, strength will come by and by. Today's video will be an inspirational gift to all my sisters still going through their journey. Remember, you are never alone. I pray my prayers reach you and God's love lift you, holds you up, and keeps you strong. So, my advice to you would be to, after your diagnosis, would be to don't lose yourself. Please don't lose yourself. It's easy to lose yourself in that situation. But try not to lose yourself, okay? Take deep breaths and try to ground yourself. And what I mean by ground myself is no matter how crazy the situation may be, take a step back. Make yourself take a step back and say, okay. Now, all I know is is cancer but what I don't know is the rank that I am what I don't know is what all the doctors will have to do for me and everything I don't know that but what I do know is right in the moment I'm going to love myself regardless I'm going to ask the Lord for strength pull myself back down back down to the ground positive 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 don't go off the deep end thinking the worst case scenario. You want to stay calm. You want to try to stay positive. Read a book. Read a Bible. Take a walk. Okay? And what I said before about the crafting, do something with your hands. It keeps your mind busy when you're doing stuff with your hands. Okay? And wait patiently. I know it's going to be hard, but Wait to see what the doctor says, okay? Never ever go into deep thought and thinking that you already know what's going to happen because those deep, deep, horrible thoughts will take you to a place you don't want to be. I've been there. I know. So, it's hard. But if I could go back and tell myself at that moment, I would tell myself, don't worry. Try not to worry. Try not to worry. It's okay to cry. But give yourself time to breathe. And put it aside. When you put it aside, put it in God's hand. And he will take care of the rest. Well, how do we put it in God's hand? We simply say out loud, Lord, I might, know, might not know the outcome of this. Only you know the outcome of this. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm frustrated. I'm mad. I'm sad. I'm all of the above. I need for you to please take this situation that I can't handle anymore. Take this situation. Please, Lord. And lean on him. When you give it to him, lean on him. Okay? And when you lean on him, you have to have trust that what, no matter what situation comes to you during this journey, that you know God's got it. Okay? You know God's got it. And you know that whatever the doctors may say, the Lord is going to give you that strength you need to get through it. So that's how you lean on the Lord. Don't worry. Try not to worry. I know you're going to worry. Try not to worry. It's going to be okay. Keep going. Because you have someone to fight for yourself. If not anybody. If you don't have kids. A husband. Or sisters or brothers. You have yourself. That person in the mirror. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, it means a whole lot to me. Please don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe. And share and don't forget to click that notification button. That's the little bell beside my name That way you'll be notified of every video that I upload firsthand. Okay, so please please guys Remember to uplift one another and encourage one another. We need more of that in this world today Especially today in time 
So please, please, please remember, stay blessed, stay strong, stay focused, stay uplifted, dear. And I'll see you again. Lord bless you and keep you. Lord bless you and keep you.